Today we are continuing with our Perdomo Grand Cru 2006 series. Today is the Connecticut version and this would be the Grand Robusto 5x60. There's the intensity. Again on the side of the cigar you see the designation of Connecticut. Now, this is another cigar that is quite weighty, dense, very dense. And uh, to uh, reiterate from what we talked about yesterday in the description, all these cigars, there are three sizes, they're all 60 ring gauge. 5x60, 6x60, and 7x60. Those are your three sizes. Um, the Connecticut version has an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper and a Cuban seed binder and filler. So Connecticut is Connecticut is Connecticut. Uh, we're expecting mild, maybe mild to medium. A lot of times, Connecticut's are flavorful, uh, light, sweet. Uh, let's see what this is going to be like. So this is the Grand Robusto again, 5 by 60 Let's get started. Okay, here we are ready to begin. Again, this is a very large cigar. Draw is fine, just just perfect. Took off just the, the minimum. Now let's get started here. I'm gonna be careful not to scorch any of the wrapper. a 60 ring cigar sometimes without scorching the wrapper first flavor you get is a very sweet grapefruit the pepper is very nice I would call it um, feels like about a 7 out of 10 it's, it's very intense and there seems like some vanilla notes with the grapefruit. The finish is feeling like a little bit of a vanilla already, but it's very early, so I'm gonna let it sit for just a minute to let it sort of come into its own, and we'll be right back. Well, that didn't take long. It really settled down quickly. As you can see, I'm only about a half inch in. The uh, flavors are just as I described with one addition. They are rich. The grapefruit citrus is very sweet and it's very rich. You can taste almost like an actual grapefruit that is very sweet, uh, which you might put a little sugar on. Sometimes people do that. There is a vanilla backing on the grapefruit citrus and the pepper is, as I said, possibly not as high as it initially tasted, but it is definitely a six or seven out of 10. The finish is straight vanilla and some nice lingering pepper. So uh, that's how it's starting. I think this Robusto is going to be very good. Uh, I think a Robusto Connecticut many times 
has more richness and sweet flavors than a Churchill. So uh, that is why I chose the Robusto today. And so far it's telling me I made the right choice. So that's where we are. It's definitely, oh, mild to medium right now. But those rich, sweet flavors make it very nice. So the Grand Robusto is rocking right along. We'll see if anything changes. I'll be back with an update if it does. to come back to show you this the cigar is burning extremely evenly and for a 60 ring cigar that's not always easy usually they're very hard to keep burning very evenly and this one is doing it without much effort just smoke it slowly like you would any other cigar now the ash is a little different compared to yesterday's this is much more of a salt and pepper color light and dark as compared to yesterday's the Sunrone was almost white, so I thought I would just point that out. Just some FYI. Well, we're here at about one inch, and there's been a new flavor introduced, and that is coffee. Uh, that was a nice addition because before you had the rich citrus and vanilla, light vanilla, but that was it, and pepper. The coffee now gives it depth. So the cigar is moving into the medium range with that coffee addition, and uh, very nice. It's a very nice flavor. The finish has not changed a bit. It is still a very sweet vanilla almost uh, like uh, vanilla yogurt. How about that? Very nice. So that's where we are, about an inch in. About two inches in, and as you can see, I'm at the bank. And I want to remove it now. And if you remember this, the uh, sun grown segment yesterday, this is one big band. It comes off in one piece, like that. There's the cigar, still have not ashed it. And here is your band. Now, the cigar only changes you have are. The coffee notes have caused the vanilla notes to be uh, a little toasted on the front end. So you've got your grapefruit citrus and it's still sweet and rich. But now you have toasted vanilla and coffee. Makes, it makes for a different flavor entirely. The pepper is still good. The pepper is some, somewhat toned down to about a five now. It's not quite as intense as it was at the very beginning. The finish also has a little bit of uh, after effects of that coffee. It's more of a cream and a little lingering pepper. So that's the only real differences. And uh, we're about two inches in. But we're pretty much down to the end here, so I'm going to wrap it up. The ash fell off one time, that's what's left. The ash has been very dense. The cigar has been very good throughout. No bitterness like in some Connecticut shade cigars. The uh, coffee notes are much more intense here at the end from about the midpoint onward. You really had a lot of nice coffee notes combining nicely with the citrus and the toasted vanilla. Uh, very nice cigar. I have nothing bad to say about it. It is not a full bodied cigar. It is medium bodied at best, but full of flavor. Again, Perdomo is doing some great things with their cigars, and this is another example. So the uh, Perdomo Grand Cru 2006, the Grand Robusto Connecticut, I'm giving a score of 92. Very good cigar. Try it. If you only like full body cigars, you would like this as a change. The flavors are great, and uh, they should be on shelves now. So there you have it.
the Perdomo Grand Cru 2006 Connecticut Grand Robusto 92.